All right, fellow Americans and, and foreigners, I'm assuming. There's obviously uh, some foreign people that enjoy my videos. Uh, and I really do appreciate that. That's honestly cool as, as, as crap. That's really cool. But anyways, um, I don't care about my nine new notifications. You see those 669,890 coins in the top right corner. Please, somebody buy them off me. Please, please. I will pay you to buy them off me. Actually, no, that, that wouldn't work because then... Okay, okay, that didn't work. You need somebody needs to buy them, dude. Please buy them. I like 20 bucks. Take them off my hands, please. I don't play Ultimate Team, and I really... I'm tired of seeing 669k in the top right corner of my screen because it's a complete waste and it could go to somebody who needs them so if you need it I will put my PayPal down below send me 20 bucks take them off your hands uh, and, and I'll send them to you so yeah sorry to start the video like that but today we are doing fight of the franchises we are in the final final round of, uh, of this of this third round um, excuse me. We are in the final game of this third round, I believe it is. Um, things are just heating up now. Let me check the bracket really quick. Today, we do have the 2006 Colts taking on the 1986 Giants. This is going to be a matchup for the books. As you guys have seen, these past couple of matchups have been absolutely astonishing. Uh, currently, the remaining teams left are the Patriots, the 93 Cowboys, uh, and, and then the 76 Steelers, and today we're going to find out whether the Colts or the Giants advance. And then after that, we will be, uh, we will only have uh, two two matchups remaining. Oh, excuse me, three, including the championship. So that should be a lot of fun. And if you guys are excited, please leave a like for that. Show show your guys support along with uh, the comment. I want you guys to comment down below, not just who's going to win this game. I want you to comment who you think's going to take it all. I might do like a little bit of a betting thing. I could um, do something like that and see, you know, like set up a poll who you guys think's going to win, make it really big for the Super Bowl. If you guys want me to do something like that, make sure to let me know. I feel like that would be pretty fun to help you get you guys involved but anyways if you guys do not know the rosters of these both teams uh, or of both of these teams go back and watch my old videos with <clears throat> the 2006 Colts and the 86 Giants I went over their rosters and everything like that but today we're just gonna get right into the matchup I'm very very excited to see how this one goes like I said comment down below who you guys think is going to come away with this victory I honestly cannot call a favorite but if I had to I'd probably go with the Giants but then again, I've been wrong plenty, plenty of time bef times before. They both come in at an 83 overall. I don't know if that's like adjusted or anything with the different players. Um, but I'm excited, dude. Hopefully you guys are too. Skill level is on all pro for both of them. Quarters, four minutes as usual. Oh my god, I almost forgot to. Oh, skill levels on rookie. Okay, see, I'm glad I came in here. Um, but let's adjust their uniforms really quick to see if they have any. Ooh, those look decent. Those look decent. Um. They have the 60s throwback, and they have the 2010s alternate classic. We're just going to go with, uh, uh, let me see here. We're just going to leave them with their official home, because that's about as close as it is. And then obviously, um, for the 86 Giants, let's see if they have anything uh, to match uniforms from 1986. Let's see. We have 1980s official. That's the home throwback. I don't think they have the away, do they? How are you going to have the 1980s home throwback and not the 60s? Alright, oh well. We're going to give the Giants their home, uh, the 1980s home throwback. And we'll give the Colts uh, an away. Why does that keep going up to... Okay. We'll give the Colts their official away. There we go. Things are all ready to go. Like I said, leave a like and comment who you think's going to... Leave a comment who you think's going to win. And without further ado, let's get into this legendary matchup. Of epic proportions. I think I worded that pretty well. You are so dumb. You are really dumb. For real. Let's get right into it. Prime time football. Two legendary teams in an, an, ugh, I can't even talk. In NFL history, squaring off today to see who will advance to the final four 
uh, we have the 2006 Colts taking on the 86 Giants. The Giants will be getting the ball first. Both teams um, have explosive offenses, especially the Colts. And then the, they're, they're the um, Giants with an outstanding defense. So it's going to be interesting to see how those things match up today. There is Phil Simms coming onto the field. He's going to be competing against one of the greatest of all time, Peyton Manning, in his prime on the Colts. So without further ado, let's get right into it. First and 10 for the Giants. Phil Sims, he's very confident against the Colts. Let's see if he can make it happen. Colts are jumping a little bit early, dude. I'd be too. Um, they are going to have a lot on their plate today. Uh, and let's see if they can get it done. Second and seven for the Giants. Strong left formation. They're going to have Manuel in motion. Dropping back to pass. Phil Sims, pressure's coming. And he's getting taken down by Morris. And that's going to bring up a long third and 13. What a play by the Colts. After the outstanding punt by the Giants, they have uh, put Peyton Manning in a very difficult situation here on his first drive. Starting from the four-yard line. Uh, play action, and he's going to hit his tight end. Oh, wait, who is that? I can't even think. Oh, what's his name? Dallas Clark. I couldn't think of his name for the huge gain. All the way, 80-yard reception on the very first play of the game. Dallas Clark taking it all the way to the 17-yard line. I couldn't think of his name to save my life. I knew who it was. Dallas Clark on an 80-yard reception. First play of the game. Talk about making an impact there. Oh man, what a throw and catch by Peyton Manning and Dallas Clark. What a way to start the game. First and 10 here after the huge reception. Uh, great field position, and he's not gaining much as he's getting taken down. Joseph Adai there. Completely forgot about him. He's going to be a force to be reckoned with. Um, I'm surprised, dude. The uh, Obviously, the Giants' defense... Is who I had my money on here in this game, but they're getting exposed early on They're gonna have to recover here if they want to have any chance uh, To win this game, but I mean you can't really do a lot of recovering when, when Peyton Manning is throwing all over your defense It's hard and that's an incomplete pass right there Third and 13 for Peyton Manning and the Colts on the 20 yard line of the Giants dropping back to pass pressure coming He's gonna dump it off to Joseph a die and he's going to uh, be taken down on the 14-yard line, bringing up 4th and 7. They should be bringing out the field goal unit, and they're going to go up 3-0. to zero. Just hit the 2-minute warning before the half, dropping back to pass. Plenty of protection from his offensive line, and he's going to dump it off over the middle for the first down. 100% completion percentage for the quarterback so far. Uh, clock running down here, Harper on the tackle, first and 10, dropping back to pass, bombing it up to the right side of the field, and he's completing that one to the right corner to Mark Bavaro, the tight end, what a huge reception there, and they're going all the way to the 20 yard line of the Colts, Bob Sanders in there on the coverage, they're going 5 wide here on the 8 yard line, Colts are jumping dude. I would be too. They're getting a little bit antsy early on. Try! He's going with the slant route, but it's dropped. Oh my god. Dropped, but I don't even know who that is. 86. I can't tell the name. But that slant route is huge, and he's just dropping that one. Oh, manual on the drop, which would have been a touchdown. Oh man, Phil Sims is not happy with that one. Third and goal for the Giants. From the one yard line, 57 seconds left. He's gonna go with the handoff right at the middle to Joe Morris, and he's getting in there. And they are putting up seven points on the board in response to the field goal put up by the Colts. Colts defensive coordinator is freaking out right now. Joe Morris pounding it to the right side of the field, and they're gonna go up seven to three with 50 seconds left in this first half. First and 10 for the Colts who are getting the ball to start off this second half. They are trailing by four here to start off the second half. Joseph Adai there with the rush, but he's not going anywhere. Hand off to Joseph Adai who finds a gap in the Giants defense to the left side of the field. And he's going to take it all the way. Joseph Adai with the 67-yard touchdown run. 
Oh man, this is a game changer for the Colts. And they're going to go up 10-7 to on their first drive of the second half. Talk about making a statement. Oh, man. First and 10 for the for Phil Sims and the Giants to start off this fourth quarter. They are down by three points. Plenty of time for Phil Sims. He's going deep over the middle into coverage. And that one is getting intercepted by the Colts. Phil Sims threw that to about five Colt defenders. Oh man, dude. Uh, Harper, Roman Harper, I think that is. Uh, with the interception. And oh man, that could be a game changer for the Colts here. First and 10 here for Peyton Manning. Dropping back to pass. He's throwing up deep to the left side of the field for the touchdown. Oh man, Marvin Harrison. Haven't heard his name all game, but there he is. Oh man, for the touchdown. Oh my goodness, Marvin Harrison completely beating his defender. Oh man, and they're going to go up 17-7 on the 1986 Giants. I can't freaking believe it, dude. First and 10. Two-minute warning here for the Giants. Phil Sims throwing that one over the middle for the first down and more. Just passing the 20-yard line. They're going to go hurry up here. A minute and 50 seconds left on the clock. Keep in mind, they do have to score here, and then they have to get a huge stop out of their defense. Phil Sims to the right side of the field for the touchdown. A minute and 42 seconds left on the clock. Johnson with the huge reception. Don't count the Giants out yet, ladies and gentlemen, as they're completing the touchdown. A minute and 42 seconds left. Now they need a huge stop out of their defense here. Let's see if they can make it happen. Second and four. Uh, Giants do have five down linemen and the, the two linebackers obviously hand off to Joe, or excuse me, Joseph Adai to the left side of the field and he's getting taken down for a loss of one. Third and four as they're going to burn their second time out. Third and four for the Colts, if they get a first down here, it's game over. And there it is, Lawrence Taylor in on the huge tackle. And like I said, dude, do not count the Giants out yet. A minute and 25 seconds for them. All they need is a field goal to tie it up, or they can go for it all to win this one. Colts are in absolute disbelief right now. There's Lawrence Taylor hyping up his defense, even though they already got a stop. Um, and now it's up to Phil Sims in the offense to see if they can win this one. There's Phil Sims right there, warming up right now on the sideline. It's now or never for the 86 Giants. Let's see what happens. First and 10, a minute left on the clock, and he's throwing an interception to Bob Sanders. Phil Sims just threw the game away. Oh my goodness. Phil Sims just threw the game away off his back foot. Who else than Bob Sanders to get the interception? And they just eliminated the 1986 Giants from fight of the franchises. Oh man, I cannot believe what just happened here today. The underdogs, Peyton Manning and the 2006 Colts coming away with a huge victory against the 86 Giants here. I did not see that coming whatsoever, but you got to give it to them. They never stopped fighting, and they did come away with the victory, obviously. Oh, man, what a game. And that is the final here. 2006 Colts 17 and 86 Giants 14. I can't freaking believe it, dude. You got to give it to Peyton Manning and the Colts. They played an absolutely dominant game here, but at the end, it did come down very close. So shout out to both of these teams. The Colts do move on and make it to the final four. Um, and obviously the final four being the Patriots, the Cowboys, the Steelers, and now the 2006 Colts. If you guys are pumped for the final four, make sure you guys let me know. But anyways, thank you so much for stopping by today, guys. Hope you guys had uh, a great time here. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And once again, thank you so much for watching. I'm Gyps, and I'll catch you guys later. Let me know what you guys thought of this video, and let me know if you guys have any suggestions for this series. But yeah, hope you guys have a great rest of your day. I'm Gyps, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.